Hey, welcome back, Rankers. Shh. Listen. Smell that? That's a Google update coming. Yeah, you know how I know that? Because Matt Cutts told us. Here on his blog today, Matt Cutts, uh, chief engineer um, in charge of web spam, has said, guess what? Guest blogging is over. Now, what is guest blogging? If you didn't know what guest blogging was, originally it was a technique to say, hey, you've got a really good blog. Do you mind if I write an article for you on your blog? Because I'd like to reach out to your audience and maybe build my own audience. But then what tended to happen is that SEOs got hold of it and buggered it up for everyone, basically. Uh, and what started to happen is that blogs started to spring up all over the globe purely with the intent of having guest blogs on them so that people that were writing the blogs could back, get a backlink. If you've ever got an email like this one that I got back in July last year from Hannah, which said, hi there, I was wondering if you'd be interested in an online marketing campaign I'm running this month for a high profile client of mine, and blah, 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 blah. If you'd be interested in hosting a tailored article as a guest post on your site, then please let me know. Now, the only reason for uh, an email like that is because they want to get a backlink from my blog, or if you've ever got one of those, from your blog. Now, initially, when you get an email like that, you might go, oh, well, someone wants to uh, guess right on my blog. I must be pretty important. Sorry, no, you're not. Um, it's just that they want to get a backlink for free for writing an article. Now, it isn't to say that you should never do guest blogging yourself on someone else's blog, or you shouldn't ever entertain the idea of someone else writing a post on your blog. For instance, if, say, some of the, the, the guru content marketers out there wanted to write a guest post on my blog, like uh, David Meerman Scott or Trevor Young or Darren Rouse or any of these people, I'd say, please, come write. Be my guest. Because it's going to bring a lot of their audience to my site and they'll see some other stuff that's on, on the site and those sorts of things. So that's great. And we might get other people linking to that blog post on our site, which is great. And But it's not about them, those people, trying to get a backlink from my site to theirs. That doesn't matter. So in that situation, if you know who the person is and they want to write a, a, a blog post on your site, then great. Uh, if you've outsourced your SEO and a company or an individual or whoever is promising to submit guest post articles on other sites, that could be an issue. You may want to look into that. Now, how is this change going to manifest itself? This is an excellent article from, from Matt Cutts. And the reason I know an update is coming is because he's put four videos up here where last year he was talking about guest blog posting. And basically, he says right here at the end of it is that, uh, let's see, I'd expect Google's web spam team to take a pretty dim view of guest blogging going forward. I'd take that as serious because he's in charge of the web spam team. So that's what's probably going to happen. Now, how is it going to manifest? Is it going to be an algorithm update? I don't think so. I think an algorithm update to punish guest blog posts is, oh, it'd be very clever to implement to try to isolate spammy bloggers from good bloggers who might just be go doing good guest blog posting. I think we may see a raft of manual updates um, or manual spam actions, I should say, on a variety of sites. Now, who is it going to hurt? Well, it's probably gonna hurt not only the people who are hosting those posts, but also the sites that they're linking to. To what degree, we don't really know yet, but what is clear is that we're gonna see some big changes in certain categories. So, I mean, I, I can tell you, or rattle off the top of my head, at least half a dozen categories, which I think it's going to affect. Um, and that's because I know, you know, when I get these sorts of of emails from people, I'll go and I go and check them out a bit and find out what they're doing. In this particular case, I went and checked out this this company, and you know it looks like they're I think they're based in the US. But uh, when you go and read their site, it's got it's three pages uh, essentially, um, and you know meet the team. I went and googled this person. 
doesn't really seem to exist. There's no LinkedIn profile, probably fake, I don't know. Um, other times I, I, I get ones from, I got one recently from a John Smith and he even had his Google Plus account attached to the email and have a look at that. And of course, no followers, um, nobody has him in his circles, hasn't published anything, didn't have the about section filled out, says, you know what, it's probably not something you want to be involved with because you don't actually know the person. If a reputable publisher asks you to do a blog post, then great. If a reputable writer wants to guess plug, <laughs> plug, don't get them to plug, that can be messy, gets them, <laughs> wants you to blog on your site, that's okay too. But just don't go down this path, and it's what we've said before. If you are embarking on anything where Google will be able to detect a pattern, like there's heaps of these similar blog posts, and they all come from sites that are fairly low quality, and by low quality, I mean the, quali the, the quality of the content isn't very good, and if you're gonna have a look at the site, you look at the site, you're thinking, oh, why are they linking to me? Then that's bad news. You wanna get rid of those links. So if you have been doing that, you may wanna go and either take down those blog posts straight away, uh, if you can't do that, then get on to disavow and start disavowing those links because I reckon this is going to happen in a matter of, well, at, at, the, at the very least, I would think, weeks. We're going to see this something like this roll out because Google's been issuing a lot of warnings last year and, and now, you know, it, it, it doesn't come any more uh, hit you over the head with a wet fish to, to tell you that it's about to hit. Matt Cutts and his web spam team are about to pull another lever and it ain't going to be pretty. And that's it for this week's show. If you've got any questions, please send them through. Uh, comment on Google+, Plus, on Smart Company, on wherever else you find us. I'll find you when you comment and I'll come and hopefully comment. Hey, if you'd like to give us a thumbs up or whatever you do and we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.